Hello, my loves. Welcome to your next 72. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, okay? Um, February 17th through the 19th. So guys, if you're currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner underneath this reading. I do choose multiple subscribers every month for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, um, jewelry, Palo Santo, sage. Uh, it's a big giveaway on the first of the month. Um, so go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when um, and you know when that video is announced announcing the winners. Okay, guys, give me one moment. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry about that. So let's go ahead and shuffle here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my Taurus, please, spirit? What clarity and guidance do we have for my Taurus, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. What messages do we have for my Taurus, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. What love messages do we have for my Taurus, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Ooh. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups that just popped out. So, ooh, and the Star. So we could be dealing with an Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Nine of Wands just showed itself. Some of us may be feeling a little tired. Um, so guys, in the description box below, um, you can find my Instagram link if you would like to follow me on Instagram. Um, you guys can check out uh, my video that I posted on how to attract and recognize your soulmate. It also explains to you um, the true meaning of a soulmate, okay? Um, if you'd like to view my tarot collection, the link is below also. All right, so let's go ahead and get into um, your pre-shuffle. So Taurus, you know, I always say when, I, when I'm feeling career or love, uh, for a lot of you, I felt like you recently may have lost a job due to somebody's sneaky behavior, like maybe somebody um, lied about you or something like that, and some of you may have lost a job, and now you're celebrating a new job uh, that you have a better position in. This is intended to be a love reading, but I felt it, so I had to say it. Um, for others of you, I feel that somebody here um, may, and now this could be your energy or your person's energy, I'm feeling that um, for some of you, somebody may have uh, dipped off because they were up to no good. Someone here may have ghosted you um, or just like fell off the face of the earth. Uh, they lied to you, you know what I'm saying? Just really hurt you, you know what I'm saying? I, I got ghosted very strongly, like this person just kind of disappeared and now they're back for new communication. Surprise, surprise, hello, Mercury retrograde. <laughs> Welcome, right? Um, so now they're back and they wanna talk. And this person wants to, um, you know, they want to reconcile. I feel like there may be an age difference between you and this person. Um, for some of you, this could actually be your kids. Like, you know, there may have been a fight and this, you know, one of your children may have like stormed out of the house or whatever. And now they're back wanting to talk. Um, you know, hey, mom, hey, dad, life is really tough out here. I'm so sorry. I want to come back home. You know, for some of you, it could actually be your children. Um but I feel like this was a very sneaky behavior. Somebody here was trying to get away with something um, and they just kind of like went cold on you and now they're back wanting to talk, okay? Um, they're telling you that they have grown. They know that they acted very immaturely and that they have grown. Um, let's see what the tarot has to say. So under the deck, we have the three of wands. So this is an indication of distance. This is an indication of yearning for somebody. Somebody here's thinking about you. You're thinking about somebody. Guys, don't forget, this could also be somebody that you ghosted, that you are thinking about, that you want back now, okay? Um, it could have been a long distance relationship or it could have just been a while since you've spoken to this person, maybe you know three months or more. It could have been a third party situation and you or this person chose your, your relationship over this other person or someone else over this other person or somebody chose someone else over you 
So here we have death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. So this had ended. This is a situation that definitely ended at some point in time. So yeah, Taurus, Mercury retrograde is definitely uh, hitting you guys hard. Um, so yeah, this is a situation that definitely ended. And I feel like it's been enough time where you actually went ahead and started a new beginning. Okay, we have journey here. So again, this may have been a long distance relationship, you guys may have had to travel towards each other. Um, we got storm warning here. So I'm feeling here something that ended now wants to come to life again. And where does this heading is towards a storm warning. So, you know, typical Mercury retrograde, you know, you don't you don't get back with your exes during Mercury retrograde. I'm sure we all know this by now, right? <laughs> it never works. Um, if anything, like people come back during Mercury retrograde for closure. And that's it. So let's see what we have here. Be at home, wombat spirit. Be at home. Should be more like stay at home. <laughs> be at home. Um, so I'm feeling here that like this person is going to tell you, yeah, see, we got fox spirit. Think on your feet. We all know foxes are very cunning. This person may come in. They may like shock you. Like really? You know what I'm saying? You're calling me now. This person may, it, it may throw you off hearing from this person. Um, and I feel like maybe this person may be like, oh, I want to come back home or I want to or you feel like home to me or I miss you. Um, but it's heading towards that storm warning, guys. So let's see what happens. So Taurus, I'm going to read you on this side, your person on this side. Feel free to flip it, twist it, reverse it. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest. OK, so we have healing family issues. Your love life begins as, uh, I'm sorry, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, reconciliation, someone from your past is returning into your life. Yeah. So someone from the past is coming in here wanting healing. With healing family issues, this could be a child. This could be a parent. It could be a family member. It could be a sibling. Um, for a lot of you, I am feeling like it is someone that you had uh, a fairly nasty ending with. Like this person really did something very conniving. So we have judgment coming in, wanting a second chance and the tower. Yeah, it was a huge tower moment. I'm telling you, I felt like ghosting, like someone just disappeared out of nowhere or you found out that this person was in a relationship or they just out of nowhere said that they were choosing someone over you. Like it was just crazy. So we have you coming in, wanting a second chance, wanting to heal this tower moment that was created. Um, with the Justice card and the Page of Wands, we could be dealing here with an Aries, Sagittarius, or a Libra. Um, Leo or Aries. So what I'm seeing here is that someone here really wants to apologize. They're coming in with communication. You see that? Uh, pages are all about communication. They're coming in with communication with the Justice card saying how, you know, they really, they really did you dirty and they want to come back and do the right thing. Um, with that page, it could be a child that's coming back in. Two children. <laughs> we've got an apology. Um, we've got a passionate apology saying how sorry they are. Saying how sorry they are. So we have here commitment and the loving man. Oh, Lord. <laughs> this person is coming back wanting commitment and really just oozing with love. Good Lord. All right, well, let's see where this is going. Spirit, tell me about judgment, please. Eight of cups. Yep, you see this person just walked away from you. They just kind of like disconnected. They disappeared maybe for some of you. The tower, we've got the knight of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. This person may have been very in and out or this ending may have happened very quickly. Ten of swords under the deck here. This ending may have just happened so fast. Like you went to bed saying, all right, babe, I love you. Bye. And then the next morning, like you never heard from them again. Like it may have just been something really just as messed up as that. Tell me about the justice card. We've got the six of wands. This person wants victory. This person really is going to push until you give them a second chance. Like they really want, they are, what's the word I'm looking for? Persistent. They are persistently wanting to show you how sorry they are and do right by you. 
Page of Wands. There you go. The Justice card again. Libra energy. We have it there twice. They are, they, I mean, I, like I'm saying, persistent. They are persistent in wanting to come in and do right by you. Tell me about this Page of Cups. Yep. See, they're apologizing because, see that, that cup there? That's an apology. They're apologizing because with that Seven of Pentacles, they're looking at their past mistakes, uh, quite possibly, with regret. And look at what we have under the deck here. The Six of Pentacles. So you see here, this person got left out in the cold and this person want to go give to someone else so for a lot of you this could have literally been someone who chose someone else over you and then realized that they made a mistake and are coming back okay so let's see what we have here for your person side stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and then we have codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life so this person is optimistic they're coming back really hoping that you'll forgive them but that codependency thing really worries me okay because number one they may be coming back to you because they need you for something okay like maybe they knew they could rely on you for a ride to work or money or whatever it is you took care of them in a certain way that this other person didn't maybe so maybe they need you for something that's one thing I worry about and number two what is this addiction is it you know a sexual addiction is it addiction of being dramatic of, of non, being non-committal where they're always in and out is this tower going to happen again so many questions <laughs> So we have the nine of pentacles and we have the high priestess. So this person is optimistic because here you are sitting here, nine of pentacles, high priestess. This is how they're viewing you, okay? Um, the high priestess is cancer, Piscean energy. We've got Virgo energy with the seven of pentacles. You're looking very good financially, Taurus, um, or, you know, if depending on what side of the spectrum you fall on but this person here is is looking really good just maybe financially well off peaceful serene you're minding your business with the high priestess you're not talking to this person nobody maybe you're not posting a lot on social media nobody really knows your business you just look like you got it going on like you just got your life together you're not bothering anybody and this person is seeing you like this and they're optimistic that they can get you back okay that they can get you back we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. There's a lot of pentacles here, guys, okay? This talks about working. This talks about working. It also talks about studying something. And with the Ace of Pentacles, they may see that you have a lot of money or they may think that you're very abundant. Like this person may have a gambling problem or this person may not like to work and they like to rely on people to work. That's a lot of pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This person may be coming in because they're codependent on you financially, Taurus, or you may be going back to this person because you're codependent to them financially. Um, and this might be a secret, like you're not obviously not, obviously this person is not going to relay that information. The High Priestess keeps secrets. She's mysterious. She doesn't talk. She doesn't, you know, so that could be a possibility, guys. We have a creative endeavor and we have the honoring path. So you see, we have someone here that always takes the high, the high road and because of this, they're able to manifest and they're able to create, okay? Um, and I feel like this, honestly, this is how this person sees you. I feel like this is how this person sees you and you know they're coming in um, they're watching you they're looking at you and they're realizing that you have something that they want but what is that thing is it money is it what is it you know because I'm seeing a lot of Pentacles but Pentacles could just be abundant in energy you guys may just be so full of light and love and energy that this person wants to come in and take it from you people see abundance in all ways shapes and forms so let's see here Spirit, what messages do we have for this nine of pentacles? Oop. Look at this. Eight of pentacles again with the nine of pentacles. They see you working. They see you as independent. They see you as doing well. Tell me the high, about the high priestess. The wheel of fortune. I feel like they see you as like they, they're winning the jackpot. If they can get you back that they're winning the jackpot. Spirit, tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands. This person here may be financially strapped. Yeah, they're coming in because they want more money. Ten of Pentacles here. This person wants something. This person wants something. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. 
Yeah, you see, they're thinking. They're thinking about the money, the abundance, what they left behind. They're watching you from a distance, and they're realizing the painful truth that they made the wrong decision. They had to choose between a lover. The lover's card here, Gemini Energy, talks about having to make a decision between lovers. And that devil there, Capricorn Energy, they're realizing they're pissed, they're jealous, they're upset that they made the wrong decision. So you may be looking very abundant, guys. Even if it's just maybe someone here started working out or I don't know what you're doing with your life, but to this person that left you behind, you're looking very, very abundant. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like for a lot of you it is financially, but tremendous amount of pentacles. You know what I'm saying? And this person may be coming because they want to rely on you financially. I feel like that's going to resonate strongly with a lot of people. Um, and this person may see you as with the honoring path and creative endeavor that you're like an empress. But well, nine of pentacles is pre-empress. You're in pre-empress mode. You're able to create. You're slaying it. You're looking really good. And this person is wanting to come in Taurus. So this could be vice versa. This could be Taurus. You're looking at somebody who's looking really good and you're wanting to come in and come back. So yeah, see the challenges here is a new beginning in communication. And with the hermit, Virgo card here uh somebody withdrawing from from new communication so there may be new communication and taurus you may take the bait you may not you may not answer this person so we have here the four of pentacles and the ace of cups someone here saying i love you baby i should have never let you go are you going to trust it or not taurus that's the question Tell me about this Ace of Cups. We could be dealing... <laughs> We could be dealing with a Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. They're coming in telling you that they love you. You look sexy. You look hot. A lot of passion. I should have never left you out in the cold. I should have hung on to you. Yeah, you should have. Yeah, you should have. Yeah, this person is watching you. They're watching you from a distance, Taurus. They're having a lot of anxiety. A lot of anxiety. You may be in a relationship right now, a very stable relationship, and this person is, it's breaking their heart. It's breaking their heart. Yeah. You may have moved on, Taurus. You may have moved on, and this person can't take watching it. So they may be coming in trying to cause a third-party situation, trying to end things between you and your person, Scorpionic energy, trying to cause a lot of drama here so that someone here can't take it anymore, and, you know, stalling this connection. That's very much possible, guys. Well, the only place this is going to lead... Storm warning. This person is out to, what does a tornado do? Or tornado comes in and just really destroys your life. You know what I'm saying? And this person wants to be victorious. They want to be victorious in doing this. Yeah, because they want, they want you to love them again. So be careful, Taurus, okay? All right, guys, I love you. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to like, comment, share, click that notification bell, subscribe. I will see you guys soon. Bye.